सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट केयरफुली The Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee is likely to increase its key policy rate called the repo rate or the rate at which commercial banks borrow from the RBI for the third time since the cycle of rate hikes began in May this year. The resolution of the MPC is likely to be announced today. There is little doubt that the MPC would raise the repo rate again as CPI inflation has stayed high and central banks across the globe have been raising their policy rates. The quantum of the hike however remains a guessing game among the close observers of the monetary policy. Today we're going to talk about what is RBI's MPC? What does it look into and why does India need an MPC in the first place? Let's address it one by one. Monetary Policy Committee is nothing but a panel of 6 members that sit together once in 2 months to review the state of the Indian economy. It undertakes a thorough review of the price situation in the economy and target that consumer price inflation or the CPI is maintained around 4% in the medium term. The main task of the MPC under section 45ZB of the RBI Act is to determine the policy rate required to achieve the inflation target of 4% to suppress or boost aggregate demand in the economy which is a key determinant of inflation and growth the inflation target is set by the indian government under the monetary policy framework engrained in the rbi act of 1934 now under this framework called flexible inflation targeting the rbi has to maintain retail inflation at 4% for 5 years with a tolerance band of 2% on the upside or on the downside The framework was introduced in 2016 through an official notification of the government and was valid till March 31st 2021. Last year the same inflation target was extended by another 5 years to March 31st 2026. Now what happens when the MPC is not able to target inflation at 4% or what does it mean when we say that RBI has failed to meet the inflation target? Now under the monetary policy framework If the average inflation is more than the upper tolerance level of the inflation target that is 6% for any three consecutive quarters or the average inflation is less than the lower tolerance level that is 2% for any three consecutive quarters the RBI would be deemed to have failed to meet the inflation target and if such an event arises as is the case currently where the cpi inflation has remained above 6% for 6 consecutive months and is likely to remain above this level it has to set out in a report to the central government the reasons for the failure to achieve the inflation target it also has to give remedial actions which the central bank will undertake to address this and an estimate of the time period within which the inflation target will be achieved pursuant to timely implementation of the proposed remedial actions now before we move to why we need a monetary policy committee let's look at who are those six members who decide the repo rate in india the first member of the mpc is the governor of the reserve bank of india who also chairs the mpc meetings the current governor of the reserve bank of india is former secretary to the indian government shakti kanta das The second member is the deputy governor of the central bank who's also in charge of the monetary policy department in the central bank he is Dr Michael Patra this is followed by one of RBI's executive directors Rajiv Ranjan these were the members from the reserve bank of india there are three external members too the first external member is ashima goel who's also a professor at the indira gandhi institute of development and research in mumbai The second member is Jayant Verma who is a professor at Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad and the last member is Dr Shashank Bhide he is a senior advisor at NCAER or National Council of Applied Economic Research in Delhi the external members of the MPC hold the office for a period of 4 years or until further orders whichever is earlier now the mandate of the MPC is to meet at least 4 times in a year Each member of the MPC has one vote and in the event of an equality of votes the governor has a second or a casting vote. Each member of the MPC writes a statement specifying the reasons for voting in favor of or against the proposed resolution. Now, why does India need a monetary policy committee? 
Before the formation of Monetary Policy Panel, there was criticism that India lacked an institutional framework to set key policy rates in the economy and RBI was the sole signing authority on the repo rate and that would be the RBI governor. After assuming office in September 2013 as the RBI governor, Dr. Raghuram Rajan tasked his then deputy governor Urjit Patel to constitute a panel of outside experts and RBI staff to come up with suggestions in three months on what needs to be done to revise and strengthen India's monetary policy framework. A number of past committees, including the Financial Sector Legislative and Reforms Commission, have opined on this and their views were also to be taken into consideration. In January 2014, the recommendation of the Urjit Patel panel were made and thus the Monetary Policy Committee was formed. That's all from me. This is Shubham Batra for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook.